Jesus was teaching people about God and his kingdom. He told them parables or stories to help them understand. One day, Jesus was talking about the last day, the day when Jesus will come back to earth. Jesus said that no one knows when that day will happen. Then he told his listeners a parable about three servants. Jesus said, this is what that day will be like. A man was going on a journey. He called his servants to him and gave them each some money. He gave one servant five talents, another servant two talents, and another servant one talent. Each man received what the master thought he was able to take care of. Then the man left and went on his journey. The first servant, who had five talents, used the money to earn five more. In the same way, the man who had two talents used the money to earn two more talents. But the servant who had one talent did not invest his master's money. Instead, he dug a hole in the ground and hid the money in the hole. After a long time, the master came home. He asked his servants what they had done with his money. The servant who had five talents and the servant who had two talents showed the master that they had earned even more talents. Well done, good and faithful servant, the master said to each of them. You did a good job looking over a few things, so I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share in my joy. Then the third servant, who had one talent, brought the master his one talent. The servant said, Master, I know you. You are a difficult man. I was afraid and went off and hid your talent in the ground. Here is the one talent you gave me. The master was not happy. You evil, lazy servant. You should have put your money in the bank so that when I return, I would get my money back with interest. The master took the talent from the servant and gave it to the servant who had ten talents. The master said, everyone who uses what they have will get even more, and they will have more than they need. But anyone who wastes what he has will have everything taken away. Jesus said that on that last day, he will come and separate those who belong in his kingdom from those who do not. He will send away anyone who saw people hungry and did not give them anything to eat, thirsty and did not give them something to drink, naked and did not give them clothing, or sick and in prison and did not visit them. Every believer, as a servant of Christ, has the task of serving God with his or her life. We eagerly wait for the day when we can share in the joy of our master. Heaven is the joy of knowing, worshiping, and enjoying Jesus forever.